Well, hey there, guys. Welcome back to Vanilla Craft. Today, we are going to teach you guys how to turn this nasty, rotten, stinky stuff right here bleep, into this shiny green stuff. And we're also going to build some things and all that fun stuff, you know? But first, I want to show you the inside of my house. Because I did it. I did an interior. How cool am I? Anyways, let's check her out. Yeah, you step in the front door and you got this fancy floor. And like, some shelves with some music boxes. And this cool diamond I found. And some armor stands. This one over here keeps jump scaring me because I think Timber's in my house. We got a floating floor in here for the uh, enchanting room. That's what this is called. With some floating candles. Get that whole floaty vibe for everything in here. I think it turned out pretty cool. Yeah, if you come in here, you got some couches and a bookshelf. Kind of a chill little spot. Upstairs, I don't know what to do with this. But maybe we'll figure it out later. This is where all the magic happens. This is the bedroom. That's my fish. I'm sorry. I won't do it anymore. Last time. Promise. But it's so fun. If you haven't done it, give it a try. It's like, kind of satisfying. Anyways, we won't do that. Step out here, and through these doors. Out here onto this beautiful deck where we can look over the meadow behind us. <gasps> Somebody has trampled my crops. There will be death, I promise. That is disrespect of the highest form. But here, we got some chests. We got some valuables in this chest. That's the fancy chest. This is all building stuff. This is just a normal painting with absolutely nothing behind it. Except for a summoning circle. And you may say, Drift, what have you summoned? And that is you. Look, you're here. Right there in the middle of the circle. I brought you in. Thanks for being here. You have been summoned. Now, I don't know. I didn't really think of what to do once you were here. The circle works. That's all that really mattered. Anyways, we got one more room downstairs. And it's kind of an important one. It's the kitchen. Actually. <gasps> Somebody messed with my heart of the sea. People are going to get sliced around here. You tell me who touched that thing, buddy. Anyways, this is our kitchen. This is our chef. He sells golden carrots. Which takes emeralds. Which is why we've been trying to turn rotten flesh. And uh, these emeralds. I don't want your nasty stew, man. It makes me blind. You're a rip-off artist. No, I don't want your stinking melons, either. I want your golden carrots, and nothing but your golden carrots. Jeez. Acts like all his food's good. It's not. It's just the carrots. Anyway, if you remember the last episode, you will know that we found a zombie spawner and did absolutely nothing with it. So now we're going to do something with it. And we're going to make it the most efficient, useful zombie spawner in, like, the entire server. Because why not? So first got to start out digging, like, four blocks in each direction off the spawner. That way you got a good space for them to spawn upon. And you can have a little drop shaft down here, and you got to have some room. Going to need some chests and stuff down here, you know? And then we're going to need a collection system, so we're going to need a chest with a hopper on it. Right here where the zombies are going to land. Perfect. And you want to be safe down here, because we are in a cave. So we're going to build us a nice fancy wall to keep us safe from anything that might spawn in the shadows and try to kill us. And then we're going to go back up top and drop some water buckets. One in each corner will leave you exactly one square in the middle, which is perfect for dropping zombies down a drop chute. And they can fall down that chute, and we can slice them, and dice them, and sell their nasty, fleshy meat for green stuff. We're gonna be rich, it's gonna be great. Alright, so the spawner works, it's functional, it's basic, but we need it to be the best. And so now we gotta go get us one of them villager folks. Hopefully there's one still up on the hill, if not we might have to go on an adventure. And we don't want to do an adventure, we want this to be quick and easy and efficient. Yeah, this looks like a scene out of that unnamed wizard movie. You've seen flying cars. We got flying boats. So me and the villager, 
Of course, he had to live in the top house. We flew our way all the way down here and then rode slowly across the land just to send him on the roller coaster ride of a lifetime. See ya, buddy. Enjoy the ride. But we didn't have enough rails, so we had to do it in two waves, so we got to go on the ride twice. But he did get there, and that's all that really matters. He didn't die. Could have. Glad he didn't. So everybody's safe. We're all good. And then we made him deathly ill, and then made him better. You know, better trades. He owes us now. So this is our spawner. I also added a water bucket up there. Because if I sit here and wait for a minute, these zombies all turn into drowns, and occasionally they'll drop you some copper. So we're getting all the flesh. All of it. So much flesh. And you take all this nasty, stinky flesh, and you fill your chest back up because you got to stay organized. And you take it to this guy, and he's like, yeah, sure, I'll trade you that nasty stuff for these shiny rocks. Why not? I have no idea what the value of things are. And so you just trade and trade and trade until he's sick of you. And you say, well, thank you for your business, sir. I'm going to put the rest of this in this chest. And so you do that. But now, you got 16 emeralds. Ooh! And you get XP, because that's like the big part. This whole thing is XP-oriented. So yeah, let's see what we got. We got drowns. Yeah, slice them. Or you can kill them when they're zombies too, if you're impatient. Slap your sword back in there, because organization is key. You gotta have two swords. One for the spawner, one for like... Smacking server mates around, you know? One sharpness, one is smite. Efficiency. That's what life is about now. I'm trying to be efficient. Efficient. But, like, also terrifying. We don't want to be messed with. Nobody on the server is going to fight with me. I got the sharpness five. I got the fire. That sword's mean, you know? Be playing games with me. I'm crazy. I've been underground too long. I haven't seen the sun in weeks. I just live down here now. Anyway, you let these guys sit, they turn to zombies, or drowns, they're already zombies. You did all this, you get a bunch of copper, you get a bunch of heads, you, sometimes you get some armor if you're impatient. And you just take all that nasty stuff, because organization is the great thing, and you just burn it. Because it sucks. Oh, don't burn the carrots. Just burn this stuff. Don't need it. Sucks. And you take the iron, because, you know, we own the iron shop, and we need all the iron... Yeah, I think somebody's been using this, because I don't remember leaving all that in there. That's fine. They can use it. I approve. Refresh your trades, man. I got things to do. Oh, you can also buy bottles of enchanting from a cleric. It speeds up the whole efficiency of things, you know? Anyways, that's the spawner. If you can think of a way for me to make it more efficient, or like... Just better in general. Let me know, because I'm not, like, excellent at this. I just pretend I am. But now, I think it's time for us to get started on our big project for the day. Because here at Vanilla Craft, we are very proud of all of our creators. All our members, all our players. All of our friends. So, I figured let's build something to kind of show that. A place where they can go and be like, Wow, gee willikers, Bob, I really nailed it there, eh? That kind of stuff, you know? Place where they can show off a little bit.
Now, I've never worked at a Dairy Queen, but I'd say that's a mighty fine ice cream. Might even say, gee willikers, Bob, you really nailed it. Ah, eh, maybe not. It's a little scuffed. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It looks good enough, right? Looks cool. Can we take a minute to, like, appreciate this terraforming, then? Because, like, I've been really working on it. But anyways, what we've got here is a wall of fame. Look at that. We got the launch of Vanilla. We got Aurora's first stream. AJ hit 200 subscribers. Shen was on Nuke's hidden gem list. Me and Andy were on Nuke's list. I hit 200 subscribers because of you people. You're so great. Thank you so much. Never thought we'd be here, but we are. You're amazing. Madison hit 8,000. And then Shen hit 400 subscribers. And Vanilla fans might be the best fans in the entire world. Like... No joke. You guys are great. Keep supporting us. We got a lot of empty plaques on that wall. But anyway, check this book out. This is so people can come up here. Oh, we're on page three. People can do their own thing. Welcome to the Vanilla Craft Wall of Fame. Did you hit a creator milestone? Add it to the wall. All of us here at Vanilla Craft are super proud of all our content creators and our brand as a whole, so why not do something to celebrate it? Pick a sign on the wall, put your name and achievement on it, grab a die and a glow ink sack from behind from the chest behind the wall, and apply them to your sign. You can also post in the Discord and I will get to add... Yeah, I'll add them. Congrats on your achievement. Cheers to the next one. GG. GG to everybody. Everyone's getting on the wall. We're doing big stuff. I'll show you this chest, though, in case you're a member and you're wondering what I'm talking about. Don't mind the glass. I'm a pack rat. But there's the ink and the other ink. Look, glowstone from our dude downstairs. Legend, he's helping out. Pulling his weight. He's not just standing there looking pretty. Let's get the whole shot. Oh, nope. There we go. Look at that. Put that in your calendar. This is the weirdest starter base I've ever had. But speaking of starter bases... I think we might be done here. I'm thinking next episode, we maybe go find us a bigger place to settle in and, you know, really start honing the craft. Or maybe I'll get distracted again. But anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. That is all I had planned for today. I do appreciate you guys. Thank you again for 200 subscribers. That's seriously amazing. It's way more than I ever thought I'd get here. If you haven't subscribed already, maybe consider doing it now. Yeah, and also like the video and comment, you know, all the things. You do your part down there below, and I'll do my part right here. I got another video to film, so I better get going. Longest outro ever. Love you guys.